Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to talk to you about the cons of solving a system of equations by substitution. So if you are given a system such as negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 12 and 4x plus 8y equals negative 24 and you're asked to solve it, you would not want to solve this system by substitution. The reason being is when you start to solve a system by substitution, you have to make sure that one of the equations is solved for one of the variables. So it has to look like y equals or x equals, and neither of these equations look like that. So substitution is not a wrong method. You can still do it, but it's going to take you more time because you're going to have to, if, if you wanted to solve for x here, you'd have to add 2y to both sides, and then you'd have to divide by negative 4 to get x by itself. All right, so to avoid all that, what you try to do is the second method that you know, which is the elimination. And this system is set up very nicely for elimination because with elimination, you can either add or subtract the two equations together. So what you're looking for is for one of the pairs of coefficients to be opposite so that you can add them and they can cancel each other out. And I see that I have a negative 4x and a positive 4x. So that means that I'm going to add them rather than subtracting. So when I do that, negative 4x plus 4x cancel out and I'm left with zero. So I've already gotten rid of one of the variables. And then negative 2y plus 8y is equal to 6y. And negative 12 plus negative 24 is equal to negative 36. All right? And now I just have to solve for y, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6. When I do that, these cancel out, and I get y equals negative 6. Now, I'm going to show you how this would have worked if I had done substitution, just so you can see why that wouldn't be the proper method here. And we're not done here. We still have to solve for x. So if I wanted to substitute and solve for y, I'd have to start by adding 4x to both sides. So if we add 4x to both sides, the ones on the left will cancel out. And on the right, I can't combine them because they're not like terms. So I'm going to have negative 2y equals 4x minus 12. Okay? And then I'm going to have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. And when I do that, these will cancel out, and I'll get y equals, and now I have to divide each term by negative 2. So I get 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2x, and negative 12 divided by negative 2 is positive 6. And now I finally solve for y, so I can take that y, and I can substitute it into the other equation. So our second equation was 4x plus 8. Now I'm going to go ahead and substitute instead of y. I'm going to write negative 2x plus 6 equals negative 24, all right? And now I'm going to distribute, so I get 4x minus 16x plus 48 equals negative 24. I'm going to combine like terms, so 4x minus 16x is equal to negative 12x plus 48 equals negative 24. Subtract 48 from both sides, so I'm going to get negative 12x equals negative 72. And then when I divide both sides by negative 12, I'm going to get x equals positive 6, all right? So I can do this problem by substitution. Once I get x equals positive 6, I can substitute it in to get y. But it took me all this work while elimination only took me about 5 seconds. So those are the cons to solving a system by substitution.